the finest person on your team. <laughs> well, how are you? <laughs> I haven't uh, had a chance to hang around with them on a full basis. But, uh, I'll, I'll find out the spring training and make sure that I pass it forward to so somebody. Alright? Sandy, I'd like to know who you can put at third base and also who at catcher. Well, my name is not very accurate. <laughs> <laughs> is uh, Bob going to be 100% this year or something a little lower? Uh, front. Half. Half. From what we've heard, he, he's 100%. I'm not sure if any of the guys here have seen him recently, but uh, I know he's had a good off season. He hasn't had a chance to rest his shoulder a little bit, and all the reports are he should be good to go for spring training. Uh, this is for Sandy. I wonder if um, they get in a pinch, we'd be able to bat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I uh, gave up that career already. The reason that I, I, uh, I retired is because hitting was getting difficult. So I'm a coach now. I made that transition. I appreciate it. I just wanted to ask Sandy. Uh, we were on two or three of the cruises with the Indians years ago. And you haven't changed that much, except your hair is a little thinner. <laughs> <laughs> and I just wonder, are they ever going to do that again? Actually, you know, the person to talk about that is uh, Archie Manning. Uh, Rick Manning was a guy who organized that trip. It was a wonderful trip. Uh, we have a chance to uh, uh, gather and mingle with the fans and crews. It was an unbelievable experience to have a few players. Uh, uh, hanging around with uh, fans for seven days it was awesome. I uh, we really do appreciate those times. We have this great job and uh, Rick Manning is the guy that uh, we have to have. We'd love to. We'd love to. Go.